Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to create uh, this uh, iOS uh, UI design in Figma. Now, I also want to remind you that I recently launched uh, a Figma course. Uh, and so if you're looking to get started or bring your Figma skills to the next level, feel free to check it out. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. So let's go ahead and let's create uh, another frame, which is going to be the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but uh, you can feel free to use uh, any of these other frames uh, if uh, you wish. Now we're going to just uh, click uh, on the name of this uh, frame two times. We're going to rename it to two. Now I'm going to bring it next uh, to this other screen, which uh, we created in the previous tutorial. And uh, by the way, if you're interested in uh, receiving the design file so that you can uh, leverage also the screen, uh, feel free to DM me on my Instagram page. It's uh, all in the link in the description of this video. Now, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to essentially copy and paste uh, this uh, top level menu in order to just save some time. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove uh, these uh, elements, or actually these ones here. And I'm using the deep select by using uh, uh, by holding uh, the command key. And basically I'm selecting these elements and I'm going to just delete them. And uh, I'm also going to bring this text uh, uh, right uh, um, above. And by the way, if uh, you download, if you search on Google for like free Figma iOS kit, you're going to find these uh, uh, UI kits with these elements uh, very easily. So here we're going to write uh, add card. And for some reason I had the old caps. So let's just uh, uh, do it again. Add card and uh, like this is gonna work perfectly. And uh, now what uh, I want is to actually add a arrow. So we're going to leverage uh, Nucleo icons in order to find uh, an arrow and it's a free icon management system. So basically you can select between, you know, glyphs, uh, outlines. In this case, we're going to go with outlines. We need to make it just a little bit bigger so that we can uh, more easily see and probably going to go this arrow like uh, like this and uh, let me zoom in just a little bit and we're going to use the scale tool right here in order to scale it up just a bit they think uh, that uh, is going to work uh, and serve as well as an arrow all right I'm going to make it black and uh, I think uh, it's pretty good. Um, kind of want this uh, to be a little bit uh, less uh, uh, big in width. And uh, here we go. We have our nice arrow. So this is going to make uh, for a good uh, user experience. And now it's time to actually go ahead and create uh, the different uh, um, input fields. So as you can see here, we already applied a grid previously. So what uh, I'm, I'm actually going to do is I'm going to duplicate the screen uh, and uh, I'm simply going to delete uh, everything in it. I'm simply going to leave uh, the, the grid. So this is a nice little hack that you can do whenever you uh, actually need uh, a previous grid which you created. You can alternatively uh, just copy the properties. And by the way, uh, recently Figma updated the, the copy and paste to having all sorts of different uh, um, possibilities and interactions. So feel free to check it out. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and let's create these uh, input fields. So I'm going to make it uh, just a bit rounded, just to have that, uh, that nice little uh, nice feeling and uh, going to bring here a text. By the way, we are using uh, the Lato font here. Uh, nothing crazy going on. Uh, um, again, if uh, you want to download it, simply go on Lato on uh, Google and search for Lato. And you're going to find it right away. So it's right here, and I'm going to make this. Uh, way lighter 
probably having a, just a tint, a light touch of blue. Again, nothing too crazy. And uh, let's just group it. Then go into basically um, duplicate it just a few times. I'm going to create a different uh, uh, elements are actually for this one here. I'm going to keep the full width since it's going to be some random card numbers. Just making this stuff up. And uh, what we're going to need is a MasterCard logo on the right. So I'm going to use Nucleo. I'm going to write MasterCard colored and actually I do not I can see and find only the logo so we can actually just leverage this one oops I moved this slightly I'm going to copy and paste it over here then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the deep select by using command select the background and delete it and this is how you can actually access just the logo in uh, uh, vector format. So um, cool. I'm going to unframe it. I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. All right. I think we're heading in a, a good direction. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the rectangle, bring it here. I'm going to write uh, the expiry date. And here it's going to be uh, free or actually just CVV. And I'm going to make it lighter in the color of the text. And that will do. All right. So let's write here scan your card. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this text white and I'm going to basically copy and paste uh, the properties. So this one here, and then I'm going to paste the property. And as you can see, we have this nice little button, but we also need to change the corner radius. And uh, let's go ahead. Uh, Let's find a scan icon of some sort. Hmm, maybe something uh, like this could work. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. Unframe it, make it white. And I'm going to just bring it right here. All right. So far, so, so good. Let's bring an arrow as well in the mix. And let's bring it over here. Cool. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to unlock this uh, rectangle. Bring it all the way up, change it to a gray text. And I'm going to remove the drop shadow. Now I'm going to duplicate this, this text right here. We're going to make some big numbers. Something around these lines. I'm also going to lock this into place. And we're going to essentially work around with uh, these numbers. Let's center this. I'm going to duplicate this four times. We're going to use the distribute vertical spacing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight, nine, and then uh, here we're going to have a dot. It's going to be a zero, and uh, I have no idea how I'm going to search for the. There's a very particular icon which I'm looking for. Uh, we can probably substitute it with something around these lines. We can freestyle it a bit, can't we? And uh, I think we're good to go. All right. In order to maintain the consistency with uh, the other values, I'm going to just increase stroke size just a little bit. Maybe decrease uh, the font size of this. Um, actually, let's just ungroup these guys. Let's make them just a little bit smaller. Maybe black. Yeah, I mean that's that's better. Okay, that uh, looks fine. So we have uh, our second screen and uh, I think uh, so far we are proceeding in, in the right way. And uh, in the upcoming video, I'm going to create, uh, or actually we are going to create uh, a new screen for this app. And uh, I also want to remind you that uh, I recently launched a free course on uh, how to get started in UI UX design. So if you're interested in getting started in this field, or if you, you don't know how to approach and uh, actually what things to learn first and what things to learn second and so on, uh, feel free to check out this course because I've been a UI UX designer for over a decade now. and. Uh, I basically created this course in order to teach uh, and save you a lot of time uh, so that you can get to where I am uh, in a, a much faster way because it's definitely uh, doable. So feel free to check it out. And I also want to remind you that on my YouTube channel, I have over 500 videos on uh, both uh, soft tutorials uh, like this one and also describing and talking about the theory about UI UX design in general. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in that and I'll see you in the next video.